bucket. What's inside it? List. Oh my gosh. Ah! Bucket list. What's that? Do you know? In this lesson, we are going to learn what is a bucket list. To find out, stay with me, Michelle. Subscribe and press the bell icon to receive notifications. Don't miss any new lessons. What really is a bucket list? Bucket list is a list of things that you want to do before you die. Yes. And do you know where does it come from? It comes from an English idiom slang or a slang idiom, which is to kick the bucket. What is it to kick the bucket? To kick the bucket means to die. If I say that he kicked the bucket, it means that he's dead. Have you heard of that English movie? Uh, it, oh, it was released in 2008 starring Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson. Yes, the bucket list. In that movie, do you remember there were such strange topics like kissing the most beautiful women on the, in the world and also helping an absolute stranger, laughing, ha 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 ha, till you cry. Have you heard of that? Yes. These crazy and adventurous things are what is called as a bucket list. Do you want to know what is on my bucket list? Then come and join me. Let's start. The first one. I want to go race car driving. Room. Yes, fast, very fast race car driving. Have you heard of Formula One race? Yes, that's what it is. Formula One. Formula One race car driving. Yes, but how can you talk about it? You can say that before I kick the bucket, which means before I die, I want to go race car driving. Yes. Do you want to go race car driving? I'm sure. It's so thrilling, isn't it? Let's look at the second one. To do an extreme sport. What do we mean by extreme? Something which is just a bit too much. What is a bit too much? Any sport you know that is just a bit too much? Yes. What about paragliding? And what about skydiving? And how about bungee jumping? Yes, that's an extreme sport. I write it for you here. Paragliding. Or skydiving. I must tell you, I'm so excited about skydiving. You know what happens? You jump from a plane and you literally dive into the sky and you're flying like a bird. That's what skydiving is. And how can you talk about it? You can say that at the top of my bucket list is to do an extreme sport. However, for me, it's on the second position. If it's on the top of your bucket list, then you can say at the top of my bucket list is to do an extreme sport that is skydiving. Let's look at the third one. Before I die, I have to take a boat trip through the Amazon. What is the Amazon? Amazon River, yes. Have you heard of it? What about the big, huge anaconda snakes who can just swallow an entire human being? They're so scary, aren't they? I want to meet them, of course, before I die, because once I meet them, I'm sure I'm going to die. So I'd say that before I die, I have to take a boat trip through the Amazon River. Do you also want to do that? Maybe. Let's look at the fourth one. I must see the northern lights. What are the northern lights? And where are they found? Of course, northern lights, as the word says, they are found in northern, uh, in, in north, but where in the north? They are found in northern Europe. Yes. Northern Europe. Uh, but the question is, we see lights everywhere. Sun, light, moon, light, stars, light. What's so special about these lights? 
you know, they are colorful light and they just light up the sky into multiple colors and it becomes so beautiful. I really, really want to see them. And if you also want to see them, then you can say, I must see the northern lights before I kick the bucket. Let's look at the fifth one. I've always wanted to go on a holiday to Maldives. Have you heard of Maldives? Yes, that beautiful place with just absolutely lovely beaches. And I love the sea, so I would love to go to Maldives. What about you? Where would you like to go? Do you have any dream destination? For me, it is Maldives. Here I'm talking about my dream destination, which is Maldives. I'll write it for you here. Dream destination. You can say that I've always wanted to go on a holiday to Maldives by saying always wanted to means since ever. Let's look at the next one. What do I want to do next? Yes, I really want to learn a foreign language. Are you also trying to learn a foreign language? Yes, I know you are. That's the reason you're watching my videos. You want to learn English. The same way, I also want to learn a foreign language, but not English, because I can actually speak it. So there's another language that I want to learn, and that is Hebrew. Yes. Why? Mm, because it really fascinates me. I really want to learn Hebrew and maybe even Spanish. Maybe some of you can teach me Spanish. I'm sure some of you already know it. Maybe it's your first language. So for me, it is Hebrew, a foreign language, a language that I have never spoken before or that is not my uh, native language. is called as a foreign language, not a native language. Not a native language. And how can we talk about it? I want to try. I want to try learning a foreign language. So why do we say try? Because we are not sure whether or not we learn it because some languages are really difficult to learn. And what about wanna? What does this mean? It's a slang. It means I want to. So you can easily say, I want to learn a foreign language instead of saying, I want to learn a foreign language. It means want to. With this, we come to the next one. Yes, that is also on my bucket list to get married. Maybe it's not on your bucket list, but for me it is. So I'd love to get married. And if you also lo uh, would love to get married, then you can surely say this. The next one here, it's my biggest dream, means my, uh, you know, really serious desire, a big dream that I have. So I can see a serious desire. And what is it? To travel all around the world. Yes, it's so amazing, isn't it? You're exposed to new cultures, you're exposed to new people, even you broaden your mind and your thinking and you get to know different people, different cultures. It's just so amazing. And I would love to travel all around the world. The next one. Wouldn't it be great to what? To run a marathon. What is a marathon? Marathon is a very, very difficult race. Yes, you have to run at least uh, 42.6 kilometers or 26.2 miles. That's what a marathon is. And trust me, it's not an easy feat and you will have to work very hard if you want to run a marathon. It's not easy to win forget about that it's not even easy to complete the race but it's on my bucket list and wouldn't it be great to uh, run a triathlon what is a triathlon so triathlon consists of three continuous races so do we run the same race three times no it consists of s b and r what is that swimming biking and running yes that's what it consists of S, B, R, swimming, biking, and running. I 
and you know the most exciting part about the triathlon is there is no break. You run the three races in one go. It's just so crazy, isn't it? I'm so sure. But it's very hard. I'm very sure about that also. But I still want to try, at least. I may not win, but I can always try. Let's look at what's on my list next. My ultimate wish. What do we mean by ultimate? That means my final wish. Yes, ultimate means final wish. And what is my final wish? My final wish is to go scuba diving. Have you heard of it? Scuba diving, is it same as um, skydiving? No. Sky, scuba. Scuba, sky. They're different. Skydiving is flying in the sky and scuba diving is swimming underwater. Yes, that's the fun part. Do you know that the 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water and we are not privy to the life under it? So sad, isn't it? We, we, I really want to know what's underwater and I want to experience that life through scuba diving or snorkeling. That's another word for scuba diving, but what, what really is snorkeling? So snorkel is a device that you put on your face and that helps you breathe underwater. It has a tube which helps you breathe underwater. That's what it is. So I really want to go scuba diving. Do you? The last one, final. Pursue my passion. What is pursue? Pursue means to try to achieve something or to chase something to achieve something. What do you want to achieve? Do you want to be a life coach or a traveler, maybe an artist or a singer or an actor? It could be just anything. But I want to be a mentor. What is a mentor? Mentor is a person who helps other people achieve their dreams. Yes, I know it's a very generous thing to pursue, but I really want to be a mentor. So do you want to be a mentor? If yes, then I suggest you start writing blogs because that's what I'm thinking of doing. If I write blogs, I can help people all over the world through the useful blogs that I'll write. So mentor for me. And you can talk about it saying, I wish I could pursue my passion. With this, you know exactly what's on my bucket list. And I'm sure that you've learned that you're never too old to set another goal and never too old to dream a new dream. So go ahead, dream a new dream, create a bucket list if you don't have one. And if you already have one, share it with me in the comments. I'm so excited to read what's on your bucket list. I hope this lesson was fun for you because it really was for me. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Michelle signing off for the day. Bye-bye.